this now um, normally you can oh, we'll put a big sphere in his head and it will be an eye Obviously, you can see the problem with that almost initially, almost straight away. Um, um, oh yeah, how did that work? So let's not do that. I'm going to make a box as usual, and then go mesh smooth. So, if we find it, there it is. Two iterations apply. Close. I mean, I don't know. Um, we'll put it there for now. Actually, I'm trying to think. That is the center of the eye. Let's be brief. Although it doesn't look right. Boom. Oh. We can do that. And it can come forward and hit three and smooth it, and it does that. It's quite nice because it's is domed and we can still blink over the top of it. We don't need that much. It could be shallower. So if I go, oh, I could do that with it. To make, I mean, if you see what you show, it yeah, so looks like that. These legs, I've just done that with it. Show. Like we like to da da da. Always handy that for kind of going. I only want to see this bit. So we put it like that. Something like that would be good. Um, so I actually go show. I select like we selected. Be there-ish. I'm gonna go there. Go face. Do that and delete those. So we only need that. Object mode. So now, if you look at this, you know, that's its UV layout, which is not amazing. Um, we can do this, we can go UV, delete UVs, UV, plane or best plane, project that, and then just come here. Yeah, actually, you know, there's rotation, let's say. Okay, so we've got we've got that sorted. Um, and so if we go UV UV editor, it's that. Select it as the UV shell, and then just go unfold. And then, oh, I want to make it a little bit smaller because I want to have a range movement on it. I want it up E, and then W. I want to put it right in the middle. Uh, that one. So that center line's there, and that center line's there. So that should that should be good. Okay. Um, put up mode. Show my slides like we selected. Uh, let's just check. So if we're here, we go face. We get that one and that one. We go UV UV editor they're up there towards the top so those are the two that are towards the top so we know what we've got there cool so we can now go back to photoshop and go file new um, we want the 2048 by 2048 da, da, da. cool lovely background wants to be a layer okay um, and we want a view Guides, new guide layout, uh, two columns, two rows, no gutter, zero, no gutter. Uh, right, so, we, so that's where we are. Um, and quite frankly, all we need here is um, a little circle in the middle. It depends on how you want to do this, but I mean, Oh, quid. Mm -hmm. If I go something like that, it might be a bit big actually. 
let's go with that anyway. Um, hang on, so first off I'm going to go select inverse. Uh, and I'm going to make everything else black. Okay. Um, I'm going to select inverse. You, you highlight as you like, or you know, go as anime dreamy as you want to. Um, so, go view guides, okay, guides, control zero, and then we might as well go filter. We blur, of course, in blur. Let's do three, uh, maybe four. Filter, uh, blah, blah, blah. Maybe five was a right actually. That'll do. Cool. It might be a bit much. I wonder if we ought to call it black pupil in the middle. Let's find out. Let's see how big this is. So if I go file. PNG and we'll go um, bug I let's do it over one I need a dot save then we go here object mode and I go assign new material new material shader Standard surface. File. And then we go to the guy. It's quite large. But I don't know, it's okay. So this one looks quite shiny. Let's de shine it to 0.9. It's a specular roughness of 0.9. This guy. Keep him showing it one point one, and then the other thing that comes in handy with this is we can make his eyes punch out a little bit. I'm just wondering if that bit in the middle wants to be paler. So we could do that, couldn't we? Because we could get that. Nice thing about that, it won't go into the blur, which will give you these weird things which we can do, and then we could actually go and blur that again. Filler. Blur. Course you blur. Yeah, that's quite nice. I don't know whether to then go in with something sort of slightly darker. Center. Something like that. Or even a paler center. No, I don't do that because it's. Very buggy, doesn't it? That'll do. Let's put more quick sense of us PNG. A guide. So, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. And that. Color. Reload. There we go. So, oh, yeah, that is kind of weird. Liking that. Um, 
So what we can do now, because the interesting thing with this is if you go to the UV layer, and UV editor, okay, there's my picture. As a shader, uh, which is on all standard surface 2, which is going to be on old bug eye. So we, that's good, so we can identify it. So the nice thing with this is if we go into the hypershade, which we've not really looked at before, which is this, and we've got bug skin is there, and bug eye is here, right? Go show me that. So there's the texture, there's a kind of map. That's the actual shader itself with all the different features of it in. So that's how shiny it is, what colour it is, and you've got all sorts of different bits and pieces down here. The mission down here is interesting. So I can get that thing there, which is the map. I'm going to middle mouse drag, drag this into the colour of emission there, which says it will glow. And if I bring the value of the glow up, da -da -da, it should glow glow. It's not doing it there. Um, and you can only really see that if I do this and go render, render. And there's his eye. And so his eye is glowing. Um, so there's no lights in here. If you want to see what he looks like, we can just go and go rendering. Put a light in there. And so we, that's a direct light. And you can see that it's returning off the shiny eye. Um, but you know, if you've got a directional light shape there, and you can let's turn the eye down. Oops, sorry, the light down to point two. You can see that his eye still glows in the darkness, which is lovely. Right, we don't really need a light in here. Um, we can do it just for testing and everything. So that guy, because I didn't delete its um, its uh, transforms, its location thing so it didn't freeze its transforms to which would be there it means that if I get that guy and go control duplicate where it's translate X is if I put a minus value in there it goes over there which is lovely and so now I can go delete by type freeze transform and then that one just needs a freeze transforms and now if you just go and go back to a second go and go there we go, we have two shining, glowing eyes on a shaded painted character. So there's the eyes done, lovely. Um, next thing, sword. Um, otherwise we're going to be a really short tutorial. Or we need, uh, shall we do it as a separate tutorial? Let's do it as a separate tutorial. That's eyes, and then I'll do another one for sword.